was thinking about... I can't get her out of my mind. Why is this doing to me? Oh my god, not again. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to say bye to this show. I know it's been renewed for a th third season, so that's going to be exciting. But I don't know when that's going to come out and it's going to be a while until then. It's been a very fun journey because I love stories like this, but I have never seen it to this level of maturity. I think they've done an amazing job. When things are based off a novel, they have like a very strong structure unless they deviate but I feel like this adaptation is really good for what it is even though I have not read the novels um, or seen the other adaptation I'm just looking at it for what it is and it's just amazing um, so yeah last episode I'm still sad about Claudia I just wasn't ready to like even though we knew that she was gonna die even from the first season they were giving clues all around but i don't know when it happened i just wasn't ready and i was a mess and yeah even just thinking about it just editing that scene was so so <laughs> tragic i just kept crying but yeah that, that happened i'm taking everything with a pinch of salt because it was armand describing the events so i'm not a, i'm not gonna take everything literal and I'm gonna have to wait until the third season when apparently it's gonna be less that describing how, like from his point of view, what happened. So, and telling his story, I guess. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be very fun to just finally see this other side to this whole story. Where things are gonna pick up, I think, I don't know how Louis is gonna get out. I think he's gonna take revenge. I would. I think I, this is where we're gonna see the fire that I've been talking about. The fire! The fire is gonna come in this episode, I know. And it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be revenge. And I'm here for it. And I can't wait to see all of them burn to the ground. Yeah. So, yeah, I think let's. Uh, I'm just excited to see this episode. If you like my reactions and you want to see more reactions to LGBT content, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see the full length reaction to this whole series, make sure to check out my Patreon. So this is Interview with the Vampire Season 2, the finale, Episode 8. Let's watch. Well, here we go. Final episode. Another thing that I'm thinking is, is Lestat going to see Louis now? Are they going to have like a little... Not hard to hard because I don't think that's possible, but maybe just clear the air a little bit. I mean, I don't think so because otherwise there wouldn't be this whole interview about it. Episode 15 and that's the end of it. There's nothing else. No, I want more. <laughs> how, lo how long has it been since he was, he was buried alive? I hate that they didn't even bother. They just go. wrote it like that. No wonder he's a like, he's gonna leave a bit. I had nowhere to go. Claudia was dead. I could feel it. Mm. My ankles healed in the coffin. The flesh having circled around the insulating rocks of my deathbed. If you took an X-ray, they'd look like little cancers. Mm. He could remove them anytime he wanted to. He didn't want to. Or maybe he has, and he's been lying to you all these years for effect. I hate when he makes these comments, but fair enough. As Louis withered away, life in the theater returned to abnormal, all under the eye of Santiago. I hate it. I hate all of them. I just don't get it. He could kill everyone. He could easily kill Santiago. So, how did you get him out? I was the defeated vampire, Mr. Malloy. No one was looking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I tasted the blood. I knew it was his. Claudia is dead. Yeah, what's the point? I was dead, but my rage had risen. My rage had been denied blood and conspired with my madness on a plan for retribution. Hopefully he thinks it through and it's not just a rushed plan. Oh, he looks like a mad man. Oh, Louis. 
Oh, Louis. They broke you. They broke him. You want me to borrow your truck? Louis, oh. I know you can hear me. Louis, save yourself. Do not worry about me. Hey, fucking worried about you! He wants revenge. I'm with him now. Go, Louis, kill them all. But, like, can you be okay? Because this is, <laughs> this is stressing me out. If I could explain to you the events, I think you would understand. I don't. Do not find yourself at the theater tomorrow night at curfew. Did you know he was going to burn it down? They were your coven for hundreds of years. You had no feelings for any of them? Yeah, of course he did. Okay, so what was the plan? I want to know. I was going to die. And I was going to take as many of them with me as I could. Mm, fair enough. Burn them all. Oh, he took the diaries. Nice. That's how we got them. Love that. The fire! <laughs> this is sweet, sweet vengeance. But I planned. For contingencies. It had to be the London Covenant. It's because we started speaking English. <laughs> or maybe it was Eglay. Eglay? She never got you try drinking from Gustav. Nice. I love that. Well done. Celeste. Estelle. Dead. It's Louis. Hello, Francis. <laughs> yes. You. Yeah, fuck off. It was me. Did Armand tell you what we did with our ashes after he pulled you from the wall? Fuck off, Santiago. I can't wait. Please let him die. I really hope he dies. But Santiago's stronger than Luis, so I don't, I don't know about this. But is he, though? <laughs> Whoa. No way. He chopped his head off. Okay. Wow. That felt too quick. I want him I wanted him to suffer. Oh no. Say that shit about Claudia to my face. Yes. I'm on too quiet here. Dunno. When did you start lying to me? Hmm. The night of Madeleine's transformation. It's my coven of two hundred years. Versus well, him. So he chose the coven. And at the time, I could not count on your love lasting as long. You rehearsed it with Lestat? They rehearsed it with him. I stayed in my coffin when I was there. Shit. We spent nights over here. I lied to you. I will spend my life making it up to you. You'll never make mm. it up to me. Is Lestat still in Paris? Shit. I wasn't expecting this. Was it a good day's rest? Fuck off. You look small. I don't know how I feel about this. I came here to have a think. Why I do what I do. Why you rehearse to play? Mm. It will burn your daughter alive? Yeah. The great laws. What fu oh, fuck off. What fucking law did you ever find? Yeah. Stop. Yeah, don't bring up the laws. They'll come to kill you. I have the blood of Magnus in me. Magnus burned. I have the blood of Akasha in me. He doesn't know who that is. What does that mean? Mm. Here's your death, Lestat. Oh, he's gonna kiss him in front of him. Whoa. He and I are gonna spend the rest of our lives together. Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. Enjoy you. Let's see how long it holds. An odd phrase. Yeah. I need I need someone to fill in the gaps. And that's the end of no. it. There's nothing else. No, that's not the end of it. So give it to me. Is he going to be like, okay. End of session. Wow. The end. I mean, they still have an episode to go. So, oh, that's the envelope. What is that? My, I can read. What was that? What is that? Mind if I ask a few follow-up questions? It's just some things I've been jotting down along the way. It's, it's just small stuff. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's funny because Sam's in two places at once, guarding Armand, but you also have him helping to bury you. Oh, true. I just got it wrong. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here, but... Hmm, where's he getting at? The night that Lestat 
brings all those soldiers. How many soldiers did he mind fuck out of the townhouse that night? I don't know. More like 30? Huh. Oh, well, it, it seems to me that there was more than one person in the theater that night who could have saved you. True. Oh my God, I was right. It wasn't him. It was an Armand. Armand took credit. How did I know this? I knew it. Yeah. He loved Louis. Lestat would have tried to save him yeah. as much as you did. We have something special prepared for you, Daniel. Oh, they're gonna kill him. Santiago, hand the diary into the audience. Have them feel the evidence in their hands. These are just some notes. That he wrote. Armand took part in that. Where did you get that? Read it for yourself. Armand, you're a liar. I can't with anybody here. They're all liars. Oh, you got caught, boy. You better explain yourself, and I don't know how. And now you rise from your chair and walk towards Claudia. What the hell? This is, this is too much. What? And how do you suppose that you will keep her quiet? We'll fog her mind. You have no idea of Claudia's strength. He directed the play. What the fuck? What say you for the vampire, Louis? It was an Armand. It was Lestat. It was Lestat. <laughs> it was him. Oh. oh, bless him. Armand, get the fuck out. I don't want to see him. He's a liar. Where does the bullshit start, Armand? Yes. He didn't save you. Lestat did. Lestat did. <laughs> 77 years based on a seismic lie. Fuck you, Armand. Oh no, is he gonna try to kill him? Louis! And that's how he walks out alive. Go, live. Yeah, get out. Get out, 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 go, 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 go. Come on, Daniel. Oh no. Daniel, go. Rashid, you're not to touch him. Do you understand? You harm him in any way, I will kill you. Do you understand? I'm leaving now. When I return, you need to be gone. He's a liar. I'll see there's $10 million wired into your account. Oh wow, $10 million. Thank you. My brain is foggy. Like, what's going on? Oh, okay. I don't know if I was expecting this, but like, I already, already had a feeling that Arma did that. First time in New Orleans? No. He's back. Is he, is he coming to see Lestat? Maybe he's with Lestat. He's miserable. Oh, Lestat. How have we done a whole circle like this? Hello. Who's he? Louis. He's Louis. Get out. Where? <laughs> Oh, he's eating rats. Oh, wow. So he's not having human. I don't know. He is an excellent rat catcher. What happened to him? Hello, Lestat. Hello, Louis. Passing through. I can't just stay you. Oh. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and what does your companion think of that? He's no longer with me. Good for you. I'm sorry I don't have much time. I'm in the middle of rehearsing. Is he okay? Need about 50 more years of practice. Siri pause. <laughs> that Siri pause. Oh shit, hold on. Did you save my life in Paris? Mm. I gave you to Armand. Why? You tell me if that was saying. Why didn't you say? Yeah. I don't like to point out my virtues. <laughs> Start. I knew you'd figure it out. Eventually. And look. You did. I was right. I'll help me. I think it was a punishment for himself, maybe. Maybe he felt like he didn't deserve to tell him. 
not enduring mm. living. Well, do you call that living? Especially for Lestat standards. Here in New Orleans. It's my home. I didn't know it was a gift. I wore it like a curse. I was selfish. Oh, no. What is this? I tried to make nights off, but I wanted you to suffer. Because I was. Suffering. Not me again. Shall we list? All the ways we have wronged each other and why it will never be right between monstrous. I came to thank you. Are they gonna go back together? I can't. For the nights in front of me, where I might learn and live honest. Thank you. September 8th, 1973. What's that? A man called me. Oh, when he tried to. Were you there? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? I was lost. I was thinking about... I can't get her out of my mind. <laughs> Why is this coming to me? Oh my god, not again. You have the same problem. Hey, it's, it's not on you. Do you hear me? I made you turn up. I could have saved her from the fire. So a half century later, she could... She looked at me at the end like a child, looking to her father. But I was no... That's what broke him. Oh. I was not expecting this. That house is just gonna fly off. I mean, Lestat can fly anyway. Welcome back, Atlanta, and welcome to my next guest, the two-time Pulitzer Prize winning... Daniel McCoy. Malloy, sorry. Thanks, Leonard. <laughs> not the glasses. It's, it's a memoir, it's not fiction. Is it true, or is it a joke? <laughs> middle, middle finger, finger to the publishing industry that turned its back on him. I don't read reviews. Is it... I love him. You took a noble career. Didn't even read it. Put it in the shirt. Didn't read the book. You were one of our... F oh, shut up. It's a great f read. And you're a hack. I love him. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to read the book. <laughs> Why did he even go? Running down, all of us. Louis. Hunt him down. Louis, Louis de Lac, it's me. Mm. No editor's next book, I promise. I feel like he's in danger, this guy. There shouldn't have been a first book. You want the 10 million back? Just say it, man. I'm guessing you haven't heard from my maker. I shouldn't have left you alone with him. Make it up to me. <laughs> we'll do a follow-up book. I can't with him. I can't believe he's a vampire now. Get out of Dubai, Louis. So what, what happened to the stat? Did this happen before he went to... Shikarkaro. Makale. Grow quiet now. I live in the penthouse apartment at the Al Sharaf Towers in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So for all you cowards out there talking shit, just come and get me. I own the night. Go, Louis, go. Wow. That was a beautiful ending. That was just. That was just amazing. That was a 10 out of 10. Okay, gonna take a little break. So that was the end of uh, the second part of Interview with the Vampire. And I couldn't be happier. I think they did a really good job uh, wrapping this whole season up, like the whole story. Actually, I could do without another season. Like that's how well they've, they've done it. But obviously, like, I cannot wait for the next part. Again, like, it keeps surprising me, but I, I've i suspected, like, certain parts, especially Lestat, Lestat's involvement in the whole plan. I just I just knew there was something dodgy about it. Like, I mean, after, after the first season, you have to be sort of wary and, like, cautious. Not cautious, but, like, just take everything with a grain of salt because... No one tells the truth, so you have to go with an open mind. It's just like hearing what they have to say, but also like 
keeping at the back of your mind like okay these characters are not telling the truth just just see what's going on and see what like they tell you and then just make your own decisions and uh, your own opinions <laughs> that's hilarious but like I love that concept that broke me like that Lestat reunion with Louis that was a, that needed to happen I think this is one of the most objective parts of the whole series he wasn't narrating it they were just showing it to us so I'm guessing maybe this is the actual like this is something that actually happened without biases but I mean it could be that it's just <laughs> Louis is just how remembering this happening. But I mean, this is the present now. Another question I have is, I'm not really sure. I think this happened before he made that whole announcement. No, no, hold on. This happened after he made that whole announcement to all the vampires. Oh, that was so cool. I just don't have any words. And I'm on, I just oh, I can't be bothered with him anymore. I don't know if they're going to show more of him in the next season, but I'm going to just piece of crap like to be honest to to pretend to to take credit for that and to just like keep leading him on because of, of his own benefit he likes Louis I don't, to be his own little rat I, don't, I, I am yeah I, I am in disbelief a little bit because I I did like Armand <laughs> like I did like what they had together but like after knowing this now I just can't get past that so I'm sorry Arman, I'm dropping you because it just it just doesn't make sense. So back again to Louis and Lestat forever. <laughs> Louis and Lestat team. Let's go. We now know Lestat's point of view, like is on like the whole story and like he's he's just a very complex character because I get him. Like he loved Louis so much that he was doing anything that Louis wanted. And when Louis got tired of it and the thing is like what he said in, in that little conversation is I just wasn't grateful for the for the gift for being a vampire and like he had a lot of trouble coming to terms with him being this this monster like he describes it yeah and I feel like finally now he's okay with it obviously he had to he had to lose Claudia in the way um, but Claudia should have, should have never been a vampire in the first place. Like you, like I understand the reasoning why you shouldn't turn children into vampires, and like he did that, regardless of Lestat telling him not to do it. So I get, I get the whole dynamic, and I know Lestat did a lot of wrongs, but I feel like he came from a good place. Yeah, this is this is such a tragic story. Like any way you see it. I have I have many questions about the next season. Is it gonna be set? And is it gonna carry on from the present? Maybe it's gonna tell us a little bit more. It's gonna get more personal with Lestat, and I really want to see that. I want them to describe us Lestat from his own point of view, how he views himself, not how others view him. And yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna get a little bit of Nicholas. Is it Nikki? How the whole relationship with Les with Armin and Lestat came about? How he views Louis? And maybe the present and maybe they have to fight all of these vampires and oh my god daniel daniel is a freaking vampire now that is crazy i need to, i need a whole scene on how that happened and like i know he didn't want he didn't want it but now he has it so he has to make the most of it i mean he's lived his whole life so might as well just enjoy it i guess i would uh but that's cool and yeah, I think Armand is going to be the biggest enemy in the next season. He's going to be so sour about this whole situation. And fair, fair enough, but like, you're a bit trashy, so can't, can't really do anything with that. Like, I, I don't know. I want to, I want to see a little bit like his side. Like, I know he loves Louis, but like he did a little bit of the same with Lestat. And I want to see how that played out. So, I don't know. I think he's a little bit of a rat. Well, that was the end. Um, okay, so moving on from Interview the Vampire. Regarding this whole universe, what should I do next? Should I react to the... Is it 1996 or 1995 movie with Brad Pitt? 
Like, should I react to that or should I wait until the third season? And then after that third season, watch the movie. Or maybe I'm okay because I've heard like that movie is about its first two parts. So I can already, I could already watch it. And obviously I think I'm going to hold until the, I'm going to wait until the series is over to read the books because I, wa I want to see the whole story from that perspective and I don't want to get spoilers in, in the way if maybe they have adapted some of those parts into the third season. So the next thing that's probably going to come out on YouTube is Dead Boy Detectives. It's a really fun show. I started watching it and yeah, it's it's an interesting one. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not at the level of Interview with the Vampire, but it's it's a fun watch. Anyway, if you want to see more reactions to LGBT content and maybe other stuff, maybe I'll start expanding to other things that I haven't seen through a gay lens. Maybe that's going to be next because I, I am limiting myself like when it comes to like watching these shows, but I do enjoy them. And I like I don't think I watch them often outside of my channel. So, yeah, it, it's a good opportunity to start exploring other things that I don't usually watch. But yeah, if you want to see more reactions, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see full reactions, uh, check out my Patreon. And thank you so much to everybody to, who subscribed to my channel, who is supporting me on Patreon. Uh, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next reactions. Bye.